guys so welcome back to another video it's friday doing a little vlog don't know if it's a daily vlog or a couple days vlog we are undecided but headed to go work out i took yesterday off so i'm excited to go today and after that i have an appointment that i need to come home quick and get ready for just got out of my workout class and i ordered smoothie king today got a gladiator strawberry and then you can add two things so i added um banana and spinach it came out green but it tastes really good it's like nice and refreshing but um i got a smoothie because i need to go inside really quick and change and um, shower and do like a quick get ready for my nail equipment and then i also need gas so i need to make sure i pretty much leave on time and i haven't decided what i want to do with my nails yet i have like no inspiration so Bianca from the past because I knew I was not gonna have enough time to wash my hair after my workout this morning since I have a nail appointment. I'm um, talking to you guys about today's sponsor of the video, Whey. I can't even believe I'm saying that. I am so excited. I have been using Whey products for years. So I cannot wait to tell you guys all about it. Basically, in this vlog, I'm kind of doing like a self-care reset. Lately, I've just been feeling like very unmotivated, very down, like sometimes sad. And I've just had a lot going on and I like want to talk to you guys about it maybe in like a couple weeks like when things slow down just kind of give you like a big life update and like how I'm feeling and like what I'm doing but I hate feeling unmotivated and down and like I have so much on my plate so I am kind of spending this vlog to like get things done around the house and really like center back to myself I booked a nail appointment I'm just taking like a really relaxing weekend to be with me and myself and like not to put too much pressure on my plate which is honestly how my hair is being brought into this because nothing feels better than loading your hair with dry shampoo and like texture spray and matte pomade and you guys know I love that way matte pomade and all of the stuff throughout the week and then using a really, really good shampoo and just resetting your entire hair, resetting your scalp, resetting everything, which is why I'm so excited to talk to you guys about the Way Detox Shampoo. If you're like me, I wash my hair like one to two times a week, simply because I just like, it takes a lot of work to wash your hair and then to dry it and to style it and all that stuff. And so I will go days just loading my hair with dry shampoo and a bunch of other stuff to at least make it look really nice and cute. Clarifying Detox Shampoo transformed my hair. I started using it a couple weeks ago and I am in love. I am so happy that I get to tell you guys about it. Towards the end of like my hair wash cycle, I feel like my hair feels so heavy. Like right now, literally needs to be washed so bad. It feels so heavy. It's like matted down to my head. It's like frizzy. It's, it's not cute. And then after I use the detox shampoo, it feels like I just went to the salon. You know, like when you go to the salon and they wash your hair for you and it's literally amazing and you cannot replicate that at home. That is what my hair feels like. It is so bouncy and soft. It feels like I got a deep, deep clean with the hair. And something that I love about this shampoo is that it like suds up and gets like really nice and sudsy I guess you could say I hate when shampoos don't do that because I never feel like my hair is getting fully clean for some reason and this gets all up in there with all the suds and it smells so good there's a combination of keratin and apple cider vinegar and it exfoliates and balances your scalp and it also smooths out frizz which is something that I really need you guys know well you might not know my hair is naturally super curly and frizzy so I blow dry it and like style it to get it to be like the way I like it and as I started using the shampoo I straight up right away noticed how shiny and how like healthy it looked and you guys will see in the vlog clips after this this was like the day after I washed my hair so you guys will see like how nice it looks and I even saw one of you guys commented uh, like a while ago about how my hair was looking and I've been using this you guys so Now's your time to get it. If this is a sign, it's now. Also, don't worry because I know it, I said that there's apple cider vinegar in the shampoo, but there's a signature fragrance that completely hides the smell of that so you will not smell like apple cider vinegar. It actually smells amazing. And you guys know I'm all about using clean products. If you guys didn't know, it's free of cruelty, important parabens, sulfate, all that stuff, 100% clean. So they have hair care products. They also have body and fragrance products if you didn't know. So if you guys are like me and your hair needs a huge reset and you're kind of prioritizing your hair health for the rest of the year, then definitely check out Way, and you can go to theway.com and use my code Bianca to get 15% off of your order. So that's T H E O U A I. Here, so you can see how it's spelled. The Way. 
dot com and then use my code bianca to get 15 percent off of your purchase again thank you so much way for working with me on today's video and i will have everything you guys need to know in the description box below but it's time for me to wash my hair and hit the reset button if you know what i mean got ready as fast as i could but i'm definitely running late so that's always amazing i decided for my nails i'm just gonna get pink tips it's like super basic but it's just like what I'm in the mood to have on my nails right now I think I don't know we'll see maybe do like one last little summer nail before we switch it over to like the fall nails you know what I mean because it is about to be like fall nail vibes so maybe go one last summer hurrah I don't know if I want to go for like a hot pink or like a light pink yet maybe like an in the middle but I'm thinking we're gonna end up going with pink tips so um, yeah, I'm almost there, which is good. And then I think on the way home, I passed by this, um, area called Park Road, and there's a little bookstore, and I think I might stop at the bookstore and pick up a new book, so I'm, like, more motivated to read the one that I'm reading now, which is Beach Read, um, and then, like, finish it. I always like to have a book on deck, so I thought that that would be fun. I think I want to pick up The Last Mrs. Parrish, if they have it and i also really need to go to sephora but there isn't a sephora around here so maybe that's not gonna happen today i really want to get a cream blush because i just feel like that would look better and then i also really need more dry shampoo today i'm getting my nails done at sassy nail bar with oak she's the best and sassy nail bar there's two locations in charlotte i'm going to the east boulevard one so i think that's all the updates <laughs> So here are my nails, just the pink tips. I didn't really want a color underneath, but she talked me into it. She was like, sometimes your nails have like lines and then it doesn't like look as good. And I was like, well, whatever. Anyway, she always does a really good job though. So they still look really cute. But I am about to go into the Park Road bookstore, see if I can find a book to read. I like to have my books on deck because then I'm more motivated to read. If I like just have one that I'm reading and I don't have like another one that I'm excited to read next, I'll take my sweet time reading, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go get a book to have on deck, see what they have and just kind of have like a me day. I'm in like a, I feel very like relaxed and chill and I'm also really tired, but I just feel, and I'm starving, but I just feel like I'm in a chill mood, so I'm just kind of having like a nice me day because I feel like I haven't had like a me day in a long time. So, yeah, I'm just taking my time, relaxing, chill. It's today's motto. Okay, so I ended up picking up The Last Mrs. Parrish, which was on my list, and also Behind Closed Doors which is also on my list. It says the perfect marriage or the perfect lie. So I think if you know me, you know that this is probably right up my alley. So yeah, I'm excited about these two. It makes me excited to finish Beach Read. I don't know which one I'm gonna end up reading first. Hard to tell. I just pulled up back home though and then I'm so hungry and I just didn't feel like eating out, especially since I got a smoothie this morning. I'm just like trying to be better about eating out. And so I called Colin and I was like, hey, can you put some orange chicken in the oven for me. So hopefully the orange chicken will be done. But anyways, I'm gonna go inside. I have a sponsored video to edit, to get submitted today, due today, you turn it in today. So I'm gonna go inside and edit that. And then I don't even know what we have planned for the rest of the day, but we will see. Mexican food sounds really good. So I might convince Colin that we should go on a date. This is my lunch. Oh yeah, your other one's in here. Oh, it's okay. Brown rice and orange chicken. I finished editing my sponsored video and I just sent it in. I did take a little Friday afternoon nap, so that delayed me a little bit, but it was really nice. And I also took an Instagram picture today, which I just feel like I have to tell you guys because um, the Instagram has just been not not where i want it to be so we're fixing it i'm taking the content it's good colin just left to go get cadoba which we usually eat chipotle and 
there is a Qdoba near us too but for some reason we just always go to Chipotle and I was like really feeling Qdoba tonight so he went and picked that up because we were going to go out to get dinner and then it was just kind of like one of those I want to be cozy on our couch eating dinner kind of nights versus going out but I decided I'm going to officially start beach read right now so while we wait for dad to get home we're going to start reading I am very excited to read my other two books, so hopefully this motivates me. And I might end up loving Beach Read. I just personally don't know if I'm going to, but I might end up really liking it. So, we'll see. But that's what we're up to right now. Very relaxing. I really want to have a nice, relaxing weekend, like not too much going on. Just like very chill, so that's in my game plans. Dad just came home with some Cadoba. <laughs> He's all over the food, but we do not feed up. Oh my god. Just fed you. You do not eat our food. This is the chips and bad, queso right here. Bad boy. Happy Sunday. So yesterday, I told you guys I wanted to have a very mean weekend. Yesterday it was thunderstorming all day long. And literally I took a three hour nap. Like it was so nice. And I just had like the most chill day ever. Which is what I really wanted to do. So. Today, really all on the agenda is to like maybe clean up a little bit and do laundry and just continue with my me day. Maybe do a face mask. I went and worked out this morning, went to Orange Theory. Just my little outfit. Now I just need to shower and put on like a cozy, get stuff done around the house little outfit and just put a lot of laundry in to be honest. So I just showered and I put on the Laneige lip sleeping mask just to hydrate my lips a little bit. And I'm going to put my hair back and then let's do a face mask. So lately I've just been like doing this little clip back situation and I've been using this like a smaller clip and I actually think that it works like way better in clipping my hair back into a little like into a little one of those situations. Um, I've been trying to like work on getting my natural hair really really healthy because I really want to get at least like one row of extensions out and then all of my extensions out just because it's become like a lot to maintain and my natural hair is so damaged because of how blonde it was so I just want to like rebuild back my hair because before I ever started going blonde my hair was so thick and so healthy and so now that I'm like officially all brunette again I just want to like get my hair back to where it was so anyway um i'm gonna be using the summer fridays overtime mask if i do a face mask it's 100 percent gonna be summer fridays and it's either um overtime or r and r i have those and i like them both a lot so here's what the overtime mask looks like it smells like oatmeal like cinnamon oatmeal it's so good but anyways i just put some on my skin I usually switch back and forth between if I do the overtime mask or the R&R mask, but I think that both are amazing, and then you just leave it on for a little bit. I think I actually could use a little bit more. Oh my goodness, your skin after you use this mask is so soft and so good. So, yeah, both of those masks I love so much. Actually, all Summer Friday's products I love a lot. Tonight's the season finale of The White Lotus. For that, comment down below if you watch The White Lotus, because... Um, at the beginning of the show, you just like know they like they don't give it away, but you just know someone's gonna die. You just don't know who's gonna die, and I've been trying to figure out this whole time who I think is gonna die, and I truly have no idea, which is a good thing. So yeah. Anyway, Murphy is also doing Sunday self care. <laughs> you having some good naps? Okay. Oh, big stretch. Nice. My smoothie glass away. Whoops you guys like lots of laundry that needs to be done you got the laundry going what do you think about that our second load of laundry and i'm listening to the um mood podcast with lauren elizabeth and she's interviewing tinks i also just did a little outfit change because i'm gonna take him on a walk oh my goodness no what are you doing i'm gonna take him on a walk Clearly he needs it. No, no, no. I like this sweatshirt. Do not bite it. I like it. No, I like these leggings too. Took Murph on his walk and now it's raining again. So 
I kind of decided that with having a me weekend, sometimes you just need to take time literally to yourself. Like, no phone, no distractions like just really be there present with yourself and I feel like lately I've just been so go 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 and like we've just had such a busy schedule and all over the place and so many things have like gone down <laughs> that I'm just like really overwhelmed and like I think I just am like really burnt out and tired and yeah I just feel like I need like a little mini reset so I think I'm going to take the rest of the day and just sit and read my book which by the way I started reading yesterday like I told you guys or on Sunday I started reading Saturday, Friday. What day is it today? Anyways, I started reading it and I think that it's really good, which I'm surprised because I generally like thrillers and like mystery, suspenseful type books. And this one's like a nice switch up, I guess, a nice like light read. So I think I'm just gonna take some time to myself and like sit and read my book and like not have anything else on my to-do list and just like relax before this next busy week ahead of me and things are just really busy because I have like a really busy work schedule with nannying and then also with this and then also YouTube and then also a few like other just life things so yeah anyway sometimes you just I think need to acknowledge that you feel like really run down and really beat down and not like over extend your energy doing a ton of things and like if, when you feel like this you don't need to go out on date night you don't need to go hang out with your friends like it's okay to say no and to like just want to be by yourself for a little bit especially when you've been so like over stimulated and over like socially social it's like a huge social hangover I feel like so yeah just know like sometimes it's okay to say no and sometimes it's okay to take the time you need and that's not just like a day like that could literally be a month which I feel like I've done. <laughs> that could be like two months. It could be a couple weeks. Like everyone's like me time and everyone acknowledging what they need for themselves looks different for everybody. And you should never feel bad to like go through a low. Like I feel like right now I'm just kind of going through a low. And I was on a really big high like right after the wedding and like getting Murphy. And then now I just feel like I'm kind of going through a low. And you know what? It's not up all the time. And it happens to everyone. It happens to the best of us. And instead of just like forcing yourself to be happy when you're truly just like stressed out down or sad like I would much rather just experience those feelings and like learn from them than like try and overcorrect them and then all of a sudden be like even more sad or even more stressed out or even more unhappy down the road so yeah I just think it's important to like acknowledge this in yourself acknowledge this in your friends too like I think that that's huge if you see that you're a friend is kind of going through like a low point or like not wanting to go all the time or something like don't take that out on them just be there for them and say like listen you don't have to come out you don't have to hang out all the time like if you need me let me know and I'm gonna be there for you no matter what like you could be good to yourself as well as you could be good to a friend so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog thank you way for sponsoring this video I still can't believe that and everything you need to know is in the description box but I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you're going through a low, it's okay because me too, girl, and we're going to come out of it and then we're going to be on a high and it'll be fine. So anyway, just let it open up a little bit. I feel like maybe in a couple of weeks I'll like explain what's been going on a little bit more, but I just don't feel like I'm ready to, so we'll work up to it, but everyone goes through something and it's fine. So yeah, anyway, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.